What do we have? We have a Chinese 250cc two cylinder cruiser. Why would you ever buy this? Fun. To learn how to fix boat and bikes. And you're doing a fantastic job of learning on this. So Lots of things to fix. Lots of things to fix. What we got going on here is we've got some crazy carb issues. One of the things we always want to do is what test? Compression. Compression, compression test. Because no $300 carb job will ever fix low compression. So in the process of that, we went in to pull the spark plugs and we have a problem. It came, the spark plug came out really hard and she's pretty cross-threaded. To put the spark plug in here, it's pretty deep in here, so it's pretty easy to get cross-threaded. That's one of our problems. The other thing, guys, you gotta think about is these covers. Technically, I shouldn't have to take this cover off to be able to do the spark plug, but look at this. This is real obvious here. When I, when I do this, if I'm, let me go ahead and show that with the, the whole shebang. If I go and grab my tools like this and I'm putting in here and I'm doing this, do you see how it's it's preventing me maybe from getting the right angle? Mm -hmm. So it's just one of these things like this stuff gets boogered up. What I always tell people to do is you should be able to put that spark plug in by hand. And we, we just can't do it, it's dragging. Even when we put a wrench on there, you could tell we're at the point where we're gonna cross thread that. So. We don't want to make it worse. So I'm going to show you a tool. You guys can check this out here. These are called back taps. This is a Napa one. And what's so freaking cool about this is I'm going to pop this down in there and then I'm going to pull this back into the pr proper shape. And then I can even put however much tension I want on there. So I can actually do it kind of light the first time and take a light pass. Love these things. We're pretty much used to doing something like this where we take and put this in there and then use a socket. And no matter what, we're gonna grease it up. But the problem with this one is we're gonna push all the debris where? Yeah, Into the inside of there, and we don't wanna do that. So this one here, like I said, we're gonna go below and slip it through those threads, snap it back to its size. Cause the bad threads from cross threading are usually where? On the top. Right, they're usually from us. And we're gonna see live if we can fix this. What we wanna do right now is go ahead, we're gonna put it in gear and we're gonna move that piston down so that we have plenty of room for the tool to get in there. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen my tool. I wanna try and get this as thin as I can so that these can collapse or compress, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kinda grease this up pretty good because I want all those filings to stick to this so that I can pull it through. The other thing I have to be really careful of I gotta be able to pop past that, that last thread there. Okay. There we are. See how I'm in there now? Yep. Yep. Okay, do you see me pop that? Do it yep. one more time. Okay. I could pull this through right now. Yep. Okay. Just there. Like that. there I'm gonna is. go ahead now and firm that up. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now what I'm gonna try and do is find a good thread to grab onto. This is the challenging part because I could, I, I might be cross threaded all the way through. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So now what I'm gonna have to do is switch to feel. And I'm gonna use a T-handle here instead of a ratchet. And I'm gonna try and see here if I can get a good thread to pull through. Okay, feels like it feels like it's grabbing onto something. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a stopping point. And what I'm really looking at is that angle. If I'm if I'm cross-threaded with that long a shaft, am I gonna see that this is sideways? Yep. Yes. Look pretty good? Yep. Absolutely. Okay, we'll keep going here. Hit a spot where it's being a little sticky, so we'll do the back and forth like we would on a tap, right? Mm -hmm. Look, do you see the crap coming up? Yep. Absolutely. This is what I mean by technique, because we know that when we use taps, we don't want to sit and just crank it all the way through or thread restores or whatever. We want to do that back and forth, and we're trying to keep that debris in that channel. If you have a bunch of debris that where the channel gets full, 
and then it spills into the threads. Now you're taking debris through the threads that you're trying to clean or cut. So mm -hmm. what I wanted you to see here is that's why this is so important. If I was on here with a ratchet, I'd be having to flick it back and forth and back and yep. forth and be a pain. And this is just feeling nice. Let's try and see if I can just how those threads looking. Way better than before. Check this out. Look how much All we pulled stuff. out of there. And that would have been in the motor. Well, hopefully it'd stick to the grease or, or it'd stick to the grease, stick to the tap, and you'd mm -hmm. you know get lucky. But let's let's do a little review here. And then we'll try and put the plug in too. So a traditional tap like this, which how, God, how many years have we used these? Being able to do something like this, even if I just had a traditional tap, might be the difference of me doing like a save the day and get back on the road and going. So we used a lot of these. But that means that you'd go through, try to hope that stuff sticks to the grease, but then what do you have to do at the tap? Clean it. How? It's in the head. Okay. If I go through the traditional yeah. way, yeah. I have to drag all of that back there out versus this is pretty freaking stinking cool that it's gonna pull it out. That means the bottom thread is always, you're cleaning it and pulling it through. So I dig it. Let's go ahead here and I'll try this just by hand here. This is an awkward place, doesn't it seem here? Mm -hmm. You know, even just to get started by hand. What do you think? Getting there. Is it going smooth? Look at it. There it is. Okay. Now listen, even though fixed, and then we put them in, and then what do we do? Torque. We torque them, right? All of that's pretty important. Anyway, that's our little tip. I uh, hope you guys like that tool. Let's get These a close-up of that, Shane. All right, what do we got? There we go. Keep, Keep wrenching. wrenching.